It looks like a giant sandbox, except the sand has a reddish tint and the toys on display are very expensive prototypes designed to withstand the vigors of landing on Mars and searching for signs of life. This is the first rover that can look under the subsurface of Mars where we might be able to find life. Britain unveiled the prototypes Thursday at a Mars yard testing ground about 30 miles north of London. The rovers are equipped with a drill that's designed to penetrate six feet beneath the rocky surface so they can look for water deposits in spaces long shielded from radiation and other environmental effects. If goes as planned, the rovers would feed samples from the Red Planet into an onboard laboratory and transmit data back to Earth. And we would be able to say, here it is, here's a biomarker, here's an organism. The rover has a complex navigation system that relies on a pair of cameras to map the safest and fastest routes. Relatively speaking, the rovers have a maximum range of 210 feet per day. It's obviously one of those questions that um, we'll find out when we get there, but I'd love to think that there was life on another planet. Engineers hope to launch a rover into space in 2018 as part of the European Space Agency's ExoMars program and have samples of Mars brought to Earth by the 2020s. Hannah Bookdahl, Associated Press.